My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. All right, so you take it back to the parallel position. The shaft is pointed at your right hip, the butt of the club, the toes in the air. Then you take your right hand off the club, bring it up. That's good. Notice how the club wants to, it wants to do this, see? Because it's heavier on the toe, or, because this side's heavier, mm -hmm. it's going to want to just do that automatically. It's going to want to, it's want to just flip over. Now, and then you put your right hand on the club. Now I get in the way, and there you are. Now watch the real swing. So we want that feeling that the handle stays in. There you go. Gets short. We don't see it. But that's still that's a good position at the top for your left arm. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, left wrist is doing that thing. Pretty good though too. Yeah. It's okay to supinate your left wrist, but I don't want you to deloft it too much because that delofts the club, and that that's when you can start hitting these funky iron shots too far. You know, you start hitting them ridiculous distances. So I want I don't want you to think about that anymore, supinating.